talking about the electronic game, right? I'll go ahead. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, Luke 18 and 7. And shall not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Yeah, so we cry day and night, praying that the Lord destroys this place. You know what I'm saying? This place is wicked as hell, man. The scriptures say you're supposed to hate this world. It says, uh, the, the Bible says that this, America is the kingdom of Satan. And the kingdom of heaven is not of this world, okay? That's why we're not of this world. That's why we cry every day. Cry every day. And so not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he fell long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Yeah, go ahead. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. So the Lord's going to avenge us speedily. So this destruction is about to come. It's right around the corner. It ain't going to take too long to get here. All right. Those thermonuclear missiles, they're going to be flying in the air real soon. And then them chariots. Them chariots is going to come out of the sky. They're going to deliver. They're going to deliver the elect. Okay, because only a few people's getting saved. Contrary to what your preacher told you, all those people in your church, most of them ain't making it, okay? They're not going to be saved. Salvation's not in them churches. These people, they think it's, look, it's a joke to them, man. Go ahead. They think it's a joke to them. There's more than this. Hold on. I'm just trying to get well, my You got a preset. Go ahead and bring your preset up. Revelation 6 and uh, 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the test. Oh, yeah, because a lot of people, they got slain, they got killed for preaching the Bible. Like the Lord himself, the one you ignorantly call Jesus, Yahweh Shad. He got killed and crucified for teaching the truth. All right, they chopped John the Baptist's head off for teaching the truth. All right, they killed Paul, they killed Peter. They killed almost all the disciples just for teaching the Bible and for teaching righteous words. All right, go ahead. Through the testimony which they held, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? So there's a lot of blood have been shed in America. Like, how long is it going to be for someone has to pay for the genocide of North American Indians? Okay, nobody wants to talk about the North American Indians. Okay, because most white people, they're racist anyway. All they care about is other white people. They think everybody else is inferior. And that's how most white people think. Yeah, they mentioned on RT News. It's a big article, man. Yeah, yeah, all around the world, people, all the other countries around the world are, are, are they're also angry at the wickedness of America. Because when you watch some documentaries on the North American Indians, that's some sad shit to see, man. It's awful. It's awful. That's only something a damn devil would do. It's one thing to conquer a nation, but to, 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 to attempt to totally exterminate a whole race. Especially the race against the race. Yeah, exactly. Uh, keep going. Man, that's just, that's just one of the ways that we can prove that America was founded upon wickedness and upon murder. They want to say America's the land of the free. Well, tell that to the North American Indians. Here it is. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declar Declaration of Independence he said, well, we all created equal while he owned slaves. So, so this nation was founded on hypocrisy. And Thomas Jefferson, he was an antichrist. Thomas Jefferson said that Christ, uh, he said that he didn't have any powers. He never healed anyone. He said that was all metaphors. He said the Lord never rose from the dead. But that's, that's who these people worship in America. Uh, keep going. The white robes were given to, to every one of them. And it was said unto them that ye shall rest for a little season. Yeah, those white robes, that's talking about his truth. Okay, we're going we're gonna to be enlightened. Because white represents purity. And his truth purifies you. Keep going. To their, to their fellow servants, also on their brethren, that they shall be killed as they were. Shall be killed. Yeah, that's good. That's the point. Go ahead, bro. Go back to what you got. Okay, uh, this is Luke 18 and, 7, uh, 18 and 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? So that's what we're talking about. The Lord is going to avenge us speedily. 
So when you see them so-called UFOs coming out the clouds, they coming to, de to deliver us. And if you ain't part of us, if you're not our brother, you're gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get destroyed, we're gonna get delivered. You know what I'm saying? So we wait for the scripture said only few shall be saved. The scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. We can go all day on that. You know what I mean? So only a few's gonna make it. The Lord's only gonna bring a remnant through that fire. He's only gonna save a remnant. He's only gonna save one third. Because two thirds of the nation of Israel, they gotta die. But the, first of all, in case you didn't know, in case it's the first video y'all ever watched from us, the Lord is only coming to save Israel. And on top of that, he's only coming to save the elect of him. The two thirds of the Israelites gotta be destroyed. Cause they wicked as hell. And they, never, they, they, they don't wanna turn back to the Lord, so they gotta go. They gotta go. If somebody don't wanna learn, they don't wanna do righteously, they gots to go. There ain't gonna be no Lil Wayne in the kingdom, okay? Ain't gonna, be no, ain't gonna be no baby mama talking shit in the kingdom. Ain't gonna be no woman committing adultery in the kingdom. It's not gonna happen. Have y'all got something? Hey, get an Isaiah 11 chapter if you want. Uh, somebody get an Isaiah 11, because that goes right in with what you're talking about. Is it? We're gonna break it down like this. We'll give you Isaiah 11, start from stop. Isaiah uh, 11 and what? And there shall come forth a rod of iron out of the stem of Jesse. Who's Jesse? Jesse is the father of King David. I know a lot of people, they don't, they don't even know who King David is. But that's sad. Jesse, that's the father of King David. A lot of people don't know nothing. The only thing they know is about what they watched on TV. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look, check this out. We was listening to the radio this morning. Or oh, was that the radio? What was we listening to when that bitch said somebody asked her a question? No, we watching GMS. Mm -hmm. We was watching GMS and this uh, Tahar asked this dumb ass bitch a question. He said, how much is the national deficit? You know what she said? She said 50,000. She said 50,000. That's what you expect a woman to say. So that tells you how stupid people are. If you ask somebody how much the national debt is, they'll tell you like 50,000. Yo, people are dumb, man. <laughs> they totally gone. They totally gone. That means you can't afford to pay that off. Damn. That's even worse then. Uh, if you help. can't pay that off, then you got a problem. That's it. Because <laughs> what's each um uh, people every individual have a uh again uh um what's it like seventy five thousand? Oh yeah, each person each got that person. much. About well, that much. If it's not more, if I it's think not it's more than that. Uh, and the bread shall grow out of his roots, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom. So this talking about your house side, the son of God. Keep going. The spirit of uh, wisdom and understanding. The spirit, the spirit of counsel and might. Spirit of knowledge. So we got that's the spirit that we got on us because we coming in the same spirit that the Lord was in. Because he's the one that taught us everything we know. Same spirit. So we same in that same spirit. spirit. We coming in the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of truth. Because everything we're saying is true. Y'all can't disprove not one thing that we're saying. I challenge anybody out here to come up just prove this, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna make a fool of yourself. Keep going. In the fear of the Lord shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. That's right, because when our brothers get this truth, they start learning at an accelerated rate. I know I can speak for myself. When I got the truth, I, my, my, my learning increased at an accelerated rate. Just learning all kind of shit. You going? And contain it, keep it. And keeping it, yo. Learning all kind of mysteries you never thought you would learn about. Right. Go ahead. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of the ear. So you don't judge after the sight of the eyes. What's that old saying go? You don't, you don't, right. Don't judge a book by its cover, right? That should be common sense, all right? 
Uh, keep going. But with Christ in this hell, you judge the Lord. And then reprove. I read that part again. Isaiah 11 and 4. Yeah, it's pretty, it's not loud out here. Isaiah 11 and 4. But with righteousness shall he judge the Lord. And reprove with iniquity for the meek of the earth. I was like, yeah, they say, say the same thing as Matthew the fifth chapter said, "Blessed are the peacemakers, uh, blessed are the meek." Keep going. Blessed are the poor in spirit. That's Matthew five. I don't see peacemakers. Yeah, there ain't no peacemakers out here. I don't see not one. Cause, yeah, because because if you don't, if you ain't into the scriptures, man, if you're not into the truth, if you if you try, if you call yourself an agnostic, an atheist. That means you're not a peacemaker. That means you're the devil. That means you're the wicked. You're a murderer. You're a because if you don't believe in the Bible, that means you're a murderer. But the Bible says, "Thou shalt not kill." So if you if you hate the Bible, that means you embrace murder. Keep going. Yeah, if someone don't believe in the Bible, I don't even trust them now one bit. I ain't gonna trust them with nothing. I don't. I'm not gonna talk. If you don't believe in the Bible, I don't even want to talk to you. Just keep it Just yeah, keep it pushing. If you say you don't believe in God, don't even talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. You disgust me. You go on. He shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth. So the Lord's going to smite the earth. Smite means to kill or to mess up. He, to bring destruction. And how's he going to smite the earth? First he's going to smite the earth with that military police. He's going to smite the earth with the military, with the nuclear missiles. He gonna smite the earth with earthquakes, or concentration camps, earthquakes, volcano eruptions. They can take spiritual holy ass. Yeah, because these people, their spirits get vexed when we come out here and teach this word. They don't like it. It make them feel uncomfortable. You know, it messes they high up. Everybody's high on some kind of pharmaceuticals. And they're trying to feel good, and we out here messing up their hive. You know what I'm saying? Back in, they see the yeah, they uh, kill them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, back in the day, they would kill the prophets. They would kill them. They would kill them. So the Lord got, Lord got his. The Lord protecting us now in this time. We got that. Now we're getting towards the end, so the Lord's raising the prophets up. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and with the breath, with the breath of his lips. Oh, uh, uh, one part, read that again. One part, I didn't even let it go. I got, I got ahead of myself. Uh, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. So that's what we're doing. With the breath of our lips, we're going to slay you. So that's a, uh, so we're not actually going to physically kill you ourselves, right? All right now, we're going to hit you with these scriptures. But soon when the Lord comes back out the clouds, he's going to bring up the destruction, man. Keep going. Because the scripture says my word is like fire. It's like a rock to break at the hammer in pieces. So when we, when we read these scriptures, it's like fire's coming out of our mouth. I got a precept, bro. All right, go ahead. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two inch sword. Right, hold on, hold on. Read that again. Go ahead, read that again. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Yeah, so this Bible is sharper than any sword you got. It's more deadly than any pistol. It is, it's, this Bible is like a Gatling gun. It'll shred you to pieces. Okay, that's what this is. It's a spiritual sword. It's, 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 if you ain't right, if you ain't right, this, this word, this Bible will slice your spirit up into pieces. It'll mess you up and have you go commit suicide or something. Keep going. More, a little bit more to that. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. That's right. So when we bring this truth out, we read these scriptures, some people, they can't take it. And then it really messes their whole spirit up. It makes them go crazy and make them bug out. Yeah, it make them have nightmares. They see apparitions coming on them. You know, they sleep, like say, they sleeping on the, sleeping with the lights on. <laughs> that ain't even open. You know, the joints and of the moral it is the discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. Yeah, so the most high search out your heart, man. You can't hide from the spirit. You can't escape the spirit. There's no, you can escape us on the streets. 
You can't escape the spirit. Escape the scriptures. No. Nope. She's steadily walking. Wake up the next day. That scripture is still. I got another scripture to back you up. Cause like, like the scripture said, the word is like fire. This word is like fire because it devours. All right, it's like a sword because it slays and it slices. And the scriptures also say that, that we're like fire. Check this out. This is Psalms 104 and 4. Actually, I'm just started at 104 and 3. Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who make up the clouds his chariot? It's talking about the most high. It's talking about UFOs. Because there ain't no such thing as aliens. Y'all been watching ancient aliens on the History Channel? And there ain't no aliens. Those UFOs, those are piloted by the angels. That's right. Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers a flaming fire? And we're, we're, the, we're, yeah, we're the ministers of the Lord. So we're like fire. You come up here talking any kind of madness, talking any kind of blasphemy, you're going to get devoured by that spiritual fire. That spiritual fire. And this, and then, <laughs> oh yeah, the spiritual fire flame throw. That's some spiritual nukes. But then soon you're going to get the, the, the real nukes. What? This, uh, what's up, bro? What's up, man? You know, going to the scriptures. Like, you're back to the movie today. Yeah, I'm right here. Like, you your eyes, man? Tell me something. Tell me something. I know. Or, uh, pick up where you left off. We're in the middle of something. You can check out where we I say 11 and 5. And the righteous shall be the griddle of his loins, and faithfulness in the griddle of his, his remnants. Keep going. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. Man, it's talking about the kingdom. Yeah, that's that. That's what it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, Esau will be in his shackles and chains by that time. Yep. Other nations going to be serving us and ministering to us. Because right now, they, they, they molesting the animals. That's right, molesting the animals, molesting their chill children like the, these Hamites, the half so called Africans. They rape their boys when they turn 12 years old and teach them not to be afraid of a penis. Ain't going to be none of that shit going on <laughs> in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be none of that going on in the kingdom. I mean, look at the Catholic Church. You got your boys yeah, that's, 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 that's molester kingdom. You know, you know, you know, almost. Oh, you know, almost entirely, almost the whole Senate and Congress are homosexuals. Yep, yep. Are you aware of that? Yeah, they pray to Mary, they pray to saints, but you know the Bible doesn't say that. They tell you to do that. Oh, no, I'm saying, no, I've said that the Senate and the Congress. Okay, I believe that. Okay. Because a lot of those are Catholics, but oh. they have wrong doctrine. They pray to Mary and they pray to saints. Well, they, they really, they sure were. Have, they sure they have but that's real, though. That's the No, 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 what is that? The Beast? No, 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 this. Radio, there's an ethnic radio, radio frequency identification device. I get this script, mark it these scripts. No, that's just, it's, it's, it's really like this. It's the size of a grain of rice. Right, it's that small. You know what I'm saying? That, those things are made in laboratories. So, I mean, so what is it? That's probably a whole it's a, it's a, You know, you've never seen people's pets got a chip in them? So if they lose their pet, they can find it. Right. They, or, they, or, the, uh, or the whoever picked the pet up, they can identify who the owner is. Right, right. That's what that is. Oh, but okay. what they're going, you know what? People already have this. Oh, it. That is that small. Okay, I see. I see yeah, that. They're going to put it. They're, they're going to try to put it in your hands. Whoa. They're going to put it. They're going to do away with cash. There's going to be no more money. Yeah, yeah. It's all going to be a microchip. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That, that's the market. Let's get that market to be. This is the description. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. You know what? To me, it's the size. I mean, I didn't see that. Yeah. Right. Size and size actually, that's probably a, it's an old. I made a poster a couple years ago. Right. So that, that's probably an old one. They got new ones. Yeah. Oh, 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 Hey, we're gonna read this the scripture real quick, though, to this back that right up here. This is it right here. for edification church for all the people out here. Out the street, so what, you know what church means? Yeah, I know. Yeah. What's, what church means? I know. Church is divided. It's not the God. Well, you're you right about that. The etymology that. of the word church, though, right? But the etymology oh. of the word church itself means to call out. It means to call out. You can't call out when you're in some type of a temple, right? You right. can't be out in the street. You know I'm with it. You know I'm preaching, bro. You got to be out in the street. But now you got you got warn people about that. Every hit the scripture, bro. This is one of the top things we're supposed to be warning about people right now. Because this is one of the final This is coming. That's one of the final This is coming. Yeah, Obama 
Oh, everybody save your uh, Lord, Lord Obama, his highness. He, 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 he's going to put a microchip in everybody. Yeah. Our, our dear, loving president. It's his, his goal. He wants to put a microchip in everybody. Ain't going to be no more cash. It's going to be microchip. Oh, go ahead. I go ahead and get this script out real quick. Mark and the beat They got to come out. Revelation 13 to 15. And he had the power to give life into the image of the beast. What's the image of the beast? That's pop culture. Y'all watching BET all day, watching football, watching Ohio State football. And don't you know all sports games are rigged? All sports is fake. It's about as real as WWE. Did you know that? You know all the sports games are rigged, right? Oh, I hear you, brother, but I don't believe that, bro. But it's, I can prove it. It's a fact. You remember when Ohio State won a national championship? They won it on a pass interference. On two of them in a row. So you're going to tell me that's not rigged? Ohio State had to win that year, so the refs set it up, so they won. I'll give you another one. I can go all day on these uh, bad Why is there so many, there so many bad calls in all the games? So go ahead, bro. Get that script out. So the, the NFL, that's part of that image of the beast. Go ahead. Just like the ancient Roman Coliseum games, the gladiator games. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah, so if you wanted them people like the, all, all you care about is watching football, memorizing football stats, you're going to be killed. Keep going. That's just, you have to get into the truth. You can't be onto that foolishness. Like football, that's for little children. Keep going. Yeah. Only kids are supposed to be on the ball. Like, like he, uh, he said he didn't believe that the NFL was all rigged. Right, I'm on. NFL, boxing, okay. basketball. Why do you have a referee then? Yeah, why is it rigged? I mean, for it to be fair. Because, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I respect the fact that y'all come out here and speak it. I mean, I don't that's agree what they with it say. now, but I respect the fact that you're using your voice. If you don't agree with hey, it. I ain't arguing about it. Let me just give you one. No, this ain't no argument. I just got scripture. scripture I want to read to you. Just one scripture, man. This is what you call love. Right. He's trying love, to man. You just ain't ready for that real hardcore truth. You ain't, I, don't think, I don't think you're built for it. I, I know. Yeah, you ain't know about the microchip. Here you go. I, think, I, I don't know everything. 33 and 31. That's Check why, it out. That, that's why we're here. here. And they came unto thee as the people cometh. And they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their confessions. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice. It can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do not do them. And when they come unto pass, and when this cometh to pass, and lo, when it that will come, come. When that microchip come to pass, it's 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 now, I, I've been doing about the microchip when I was a kid, but I, I ain't never seen a picture of it. Well, soon you're going to see lions and people getting shot up with them. Hey, look, the scripture says, Watch, no, it will come. Take care, man. Take care. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Yeah, I'm saying, I, hey, look, that's the perfect scripture for your boy. Because he going to know a prophet been among them. Yeah, he claimed like he know the deal, he know the Bible. He a street preacher, right? Yeah, I'm for respect you. I'm for your voice. Yeah, we don't we don't respect you. But we talked to this dude many times. But he didn't he claimed like he knew the Bible, but he didn't know that a microchip was the mark of the beast. You know what I mean? But then he gonna act like he already know. Yeah, but if he would have stuck around, he might have learned some more stuff. Look at this bitch holding That's traffic up. Because we know we started, we gotta finish. Just get, get we'll go through it real quick. But that's all. We something we need to go over anyway, man. I want to Yeah, you always gotta hit that mark of the beast up. Revelation. Actually, probably gonna hit it again before the time is over. That's the main thing we gotta warn people about right now. Yeah, that and the missiles. Mark of the beast and the missiles. That's the two major. Mark of the beast, missiles, concentration camps. That's, that's, that's what's on the table right now. Do a kickflip. That's what's on the menu.
Oh, bring that mark to the Peace Corps, bro. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls all, both small and great. So all, uh, everybody in this country is going to be required to get this mark. Going to be required to get this microchip implanted in it. Okay? So, and the scriptures say if you refuse to take it, that you're going to live. But if you do take it, you're going to die. Keep going. Uh, he calls all both small and great. Rich and poor. So that means even the senators are going to have to take the chip. The, the congressmen are going to have to take it. Even the people in the hood are going to have to take the chip. Homeless going, motherfuckers. Yeah, even homeless people are going to have to take it. Yeah. Well, the homeless, they already they experiment on them. Put the chip in them already. They tagging them like ducks. And they uh, inmates, prison inmates. Yeah, they, they do that. And then they, uh, the sex offenders, they chip them. See, because it, it, these people look at us like we're animals, okay? That's why they're going to brand you like cattle, put a microchip in everybody like we're ducks or something. Like they like they tracking wildlife. Going to put a GPS tracker in everybody. And that's why they teach everybody that, uh, that we evolved from monkeys. Because they look at us like we're animals and they speak of us like we're animals. Yeah. Scientists say black people are inhuman. Yeah, what are you talking about? He's like, you got to be a dumb motherfucker to believe in that. He's like, so what happened to other monkeys? You're talking? Eddie, 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 so, that, so that, that's, that's part of the reason they go on chip everybody because they look at us like they're animals. But that's good though because look at these people, they, they are animals. They act like animals. Actually, animals have more decency than these people. I'm sorry, I'm more kind of they do, they got animals have, that, yeah, that goes back that we can get that next. That, go ahead, finish this up and we'll get, we'll get something. And he calls all both, small and great, rich and poor, free and God to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. I'm talking about that microchip. That's the mark of the beast. And without that microchip, you ain't gonna be able to buy anything. You're not gonna be able to fly. You're not gonna be able to ride a bus. You're not gonna be able to do shit. And you can take a shit without the chip. Unless you go outside. <laughs> but yeah, you can't take a, if I take a piss outside right now, I, I, I'll get locked up. This, this place is so wicked, you can't take a piss without getting you locked up. A tree, a tree and take a piss. Okay. It will lock you up. Yeah. Here it is. They hit you for exposure. What about when these bitches walk around half naked? No, they encourage these that. Faggots, these faggots, especially the gay man when they walk around. Like yesterday, I was at Family Dollar. I looked, and I looked again. It was a fucking dude. He had like a hoochie mama shit on. Oh. I was like, everybody in the store was just shaking it. <laughs> it looked like they was ready to stone his ass. Did you go to Family Dollar? Did they have the big screen of Family Dollar when you walk in? What was like, it? As soon as you walk in, it's like you're being surveillance. Yeah, yeah. So they, it, that's part of that uh, Mark of the Beast system. Because soon they, they want to surveillance everybody. There's going to be giant screens everybody watching. There's, there's already cameras everywhere. What do you call that Big Brother? Yeah. Oh, they, they're already watching you with the, with, with the, the camera on your computer. Listen, they're watching that. Cell phone, yeah. So if you get yeah, if you got homemade porn on your computer, especially if you got Windows operating system, they going into your computer and uploading your porno to porn sites, your homemade porn, and they're watching you. They're watching you and your family on your computer uh, cameras and on your cell phone cameras. Your cell phone. Yeah, the cable box. They said they got washing machines to spy on you. The microwaves that spy on you. But you know what? What's funny is a couple of weeks ago it came out that they done wasted billions of dollars on surveillance. Because all they said they ain't finding up a bunch of junk. They said they wasting billions of dollars on it. People be Because they ain't finding nothing. They ain't finding nothing. They just find people talking. Yeah. They talking just find about... the motherfuckers jacking off, sending the picture to a, sending the two bitches and shit. Well, you know? if you spy on people, the only thing you're going to catch them saying is talking about football stats. Yep. <laughs> talking about you see the game last night? Right, 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 right. That's, all, that's all people talk about is football. Especially here in Columbus. This is the dumbest damn city on the face of the planet. A bunch of homeless, that football team is a bunch of homosexuals, man. You see that new coach they got? He's a straight up faggot. A straight homosexual. The last coach they had was a homosexual. Yeah, Jim Trestle was a straight flaming faggot, man. And now this new Urban Meyer got that Jewish last name, Meyer. He's a straight homosexual, man. And I don't like him. I don't like the football team either. They look at they all talk like a bunch of faggots. I'm up, bro. We're going way up, bro. Go ahead. I was listening to on the radio and the interviews. 
you be trying to listen to the radio and be like on five different stations, they all talking about the same game. You know, I'm trying to hear some news and everybody talking about some fucking football. Don't you get tired of that shit? But you be hearing these interviews with the players, and the players all sound like a bunch of homos, man. Well, go ahead. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls. But back oh. in the, well, I'm saying back in the day, the football players would be gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Now they're a bunch of faggots. Go ahead. You seen the old football games? You watch the old school football. Motherfuckers getting cl- uh, closed line, they getting killed. Take old Raiders Steelers rival. Yeah. Steelers Cleveland Browns rival. Yeah. And he calls off both Marlon Bank, Richard Corn, Brian Bud to receive a mark in the right hand on his own. So yeah, so that's the call by that mark of the beast. Keep going. And that no man might buy or sell. So you're not gonna be able to buy or sell anything real soon without that microchip. Because they gonna put a microchip in everybody. There ain't gonna be no more cash money. There ain't gonna be no credit cards. There's gonna be a microchip implanted in your hand. So what the crack dealer gonna pay to? What's the crack fiend gonna pay the crack dealer? There ain't gonna be no crack dealer. It's gonna be concentration camps. What the crack dealer gonna have a scanner? Uh, <laughs> hey, actually, some of them probably will. <laughs> All right, I was like that movie so you can't find with Jessica Jessica No, I've been meaning to watch that. I'm gonna see that. I, I gotta remember that. I'm gonna get that. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, so what? Watch. Mark our words. Listen to what we say. Soon the government is going to implant a microchip in your hand. And that's going to be the new money system. There's going to be no more cash, no more credit cards. There's going to be microchips implanted in your hand. That's what's coming. FDA, they, uh, this, I, the FDA, uh, they doing the chip too. They, uh, they, 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 uh, they are cooperating uh, with, with the government too. The FDA is. Uh, of course. That's on their website. They tell you that on their website. You see the commercial? It's a commercial. What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? It's another one. Now you can't find that commercial now with the sun. Well, the government, I mean, the government's pretty much a bunch of gangsters, man. They do whatever they want. It's a great gangster. It ain't hard to pay someone off, man. It's real easy. You got money, you can buy anybody. That's what they was going back in the back of the old days when they paid dues, but he didn't. They show you in the movies all how the, how the games do it. What the hell is this for? He's still like shit. 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 He's Oh, you can keep going if you want. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heaven, and that dwell in the... Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil was come down into you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has well, a short time. Oh, that's why they about to try to push his microchip. They pushing a the microchip, they pushing race riots, civil war, all kind of unrest. Because he knows, because he knows he only got a short time left, so he got to make his moves quick. It, oh, keep going. Good morning, that. That's, that's kind of all. Yeah, that's yeah. The Revelation 12. That's an breakdown. Well, it takes like an hour to break it down properly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that dude is a beast. I'm talking about, uh... Why, why did the Most High have him go try to press on this? Most High was just messing with him. I was, I was messing with him. I'm talking about the, your boy, uh... This dude, uh, this dude uh, talking black, to him. Black, black, Moaz, or... Moaz, or... Moaz, or... The one that was on... No, I'm talking about the new. Oh, the one called the donkey that, um... Uh, yeah, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah, um... He's a heathen. But then they say he feared the Most High? I'm gonna go on 13, uh, I'm gonna go on Revelation 14 and 9, uh, you know, what happens when you get the mark on. Uh, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, so 
the, you know what that's talking about? Because in America, in America, nobody worships the Lord. They worship the beast. Y'all worship the image of that beast. Because all y'all care about is football, sex, getting high, pharmaceuticals. Everybody's a drug addict. America's a country full of drug addicts. All y'all care about is getting fucked up, committing adultery, watching football, playing video games, just, just being entertained. You just want to be entertained all day. You don't care about any kind of knowledge of truth. It's the most degenerate, most backwards country in the history of the planet Earth. And most of y'all going to... And most of y'all gonna get destroyed for your insolence. If any man worship the beast and his image, like Barack Obama, when Barack Obama puts his uh, giant Barack Obama posters up all, all over the damn place, you know that's that's the type of shit they do in North Korea, over in communist China. Oh, that's what they did with Lenin and Stalin over there in, uh, in the Soviet Union. Put the leader's giant picture up everywhere. Like you want to look at a, a big picture of a big fat. A giant picture of a big fat. Shit, that's what they did over there in Iraq. Who was it? I forgot the president. Yeah, you got to put money in the little thing for him. Like, what the fuck? But you know what? I hope y'all do vote for Obama. They, they was fucking people up for not doing that. Hold up. I hope y'all do vote for Obama. Because we, we hope he get reelected because he's going to start that third world war. Because right. Obama, he got balls. He's going to start that war. Because he's a war president. He's, he's the devil. If any man worship the beast and his image... Yeah, Obama ain't playing. Obama is not afraid to kill and destroy. Okay? He is not afraid. He's going to bring this war. Hey, you saw his first day in office and shot this. Yeah, Barack Obama is not a righteous man. He's not a man of God. He's not a Negro. Yeah, he's not a Negro. He's brother, not a he Christian. A he's a homosexual, and he's a devil. Not no brother. He's brothers right now. I get your Obama phone! <laughs>